Alright, so tonight I'm going to do a basic inventory system. And this is part one, and we're just going to be doing the picking of the object in this tutorial. So I'm going to duplicate the default cube and scale it by 0.5 in edit mode. And then move it up 1.5 units. So now it's like it's sitting on top of this other cube. And I'm going to turn it to a rigid body. So it'll have physics. And set it to a cube bound. And then set the default cube to a cube bound. Then I'm going to grab the camera object. I'm going to add the logic. Timer property. And set it to an integer. And then set timer is not equal, or actually is greater than zero. And the actuator is going to be a property actuator. And then we set it to add mode and add negative one. And then We're going to set it to 100 and turn debug property on and make it so we can see debug properties. So we're just going to confirm this is working. You can see the value descend there to zero. So now we've created a timer system that we're going to be using for the rest of the picking. Next, we do a mouse sensor. We're going to call it mouse left click. And then we're going to do another sensor and call it mouse over any. And then a Python controller. And then I'm going to open a text editor and do templates, Python, game logic, simple. I'm going to delete the line about the actuator. And mouse left. Let's just do left mouse. That sounds better to me. Left mouse equals mouse left click. So now we've declared a sensor and we've connected it to the controller. And then we've turned the, the controller to look at the uh, Python script we just made. I'm going to call this inventory control. So now we have an inventory control script that's looking up one sensor and we're going to add MOA equals cont dot sensors mouse over any and you're going to want to turn these three little things on This one shows the numbers on the side, which is handy. This one does uh, screen wrapping. So if words get off the screen, they show up over here, kind of like a Pac-Man style universe. And then this highlights the color of properties and uh, loop operators and things like that. It's, it's handy to be able to see. And you can use control and mouse wheel up or control and plus to make the font bigger if you have trouble seeing. So we're going to do if timer or sorry own timer that's this property equals equals zero and left mouse dot positive and moa dot positive print moa dot hit object so now when I trigger this script it's going to print uh, the name of this object once or more times 
here we're going to have to turn this integer timer back to zero to start out on zero and then we can display the mouse cursor w right here or we can use a logic brick like this always and I have it set to run once and then mouse visibility visible so now this will make the mouse cursor pop up on the screen then when I click now when I bring up in the window we should see Q.001 so basically we've picked an object now we have a, a method to grab it inside of a game you can use array